me from the future. Welcome to another week in my life vlog. We're really far away from each other. Maybe we'll do this. Oh, uh, oh, I like this little setup. Fun. Okay. Why am I talking like that? I don't know. Okay, so this week's vlog is a compilation of just clips throughout the week between Christmas to New Year's Eve, essentially. I didn't want to put a ton of pressure on myself to vlog this week, so I just picked up the camera when it seemed like a good time. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. As of right now, I'm planning on posting weekly vlogs every Sunday, so a long weekly vlog every Sunday. That's what you can expect. I wanted to talk about something, and I wrote it down, um, and it's New Year anxiety. Before we even get into the video, I don't know about you guys, but whenever like the new year comes around, I have so many goals, and I'm so inspired, and I'm like so excited, for like the future and what's happening and whatever. I'm not a new year hater at all. I'm not even a resolutions hater. I don't want to say I like even set resolutions ever, but any excuse to like set goals and like vision board and stuff, I do that like multiple times a year. I'm gonna do it, New Year's or not. Something happens in the first few weeks of January, like every year where I get so overwhelmed and I'm so hard on myself and I'm doing the whole like shitting yourself, like shitting, it sounds, you know, whatever. And I just get so anxious and overwhelmed and act like everything that I want to do, I need to do in the next week. I think social media in general puts extra pressure on us. Like society also has pressure on us. And then you add social media into the mix and then you see like 18 year olds buying multi-million dollar homes and like running seven businesses and you're like, what am I doing? And, and I just want to say, everyone goes at their own pace and go into the new year with like, obviously I think it's good to have goals and things that you want to do. I think that's incredibly important and have like healthy habits. But make sure you're not putting too much pressure on yourself to where it's actually just anxiety inducing and making every single thing in your life work. I actually have a podcast episode about this entire topic basically coming out with Molly Carmel and it's going to be so helpful and she basically we're going off the topic of like you actually are doing your best and you are doing enough and the conversation that i had with her a few weeks ago in new york city when we were recording was just like so freeing to me so if you guys struggle with that if you're overwhelmed that episode i think goes out january 6th you guys can just follow my instagram and my um, podcast instagram and you guys will see but yeah i love you guys this is a compilation of a lot of things um over the next week so i hope you guys enjoy subscribe Hi guys, Merry Christmas. It is December 26th. I am back vlogging kind of. I just got my nails done um, and I said French manicure and I forgot to say thin and like I will never correct someone as they're doing my nails so now I have like a thick French manicure which wasn't the vibe but like it's okay it's my fault anyways i'm actually in my hometown my parents neither of them live in my or have houses in my hometown anymore my dad used to for a while and then my mom finally moved i grew up in a town called mckinney i love mckinney growing up i didn't always um but i feel like that's like so typical for like teenagers anyways i'm just kind of sad because like going home for christmas I'm being dramatic because I live in Dallas and I grew up in the suburbs of, McK of Dallas and my mom only moved like 30 minutes away and really I'm only 40, 45 minutes from my hometown to begin with. But it's just really sad. Like, I know so many of you guys feel the same way, but it's just really sad. Like when I come home for Christmas or Thanksgiving, like I'm not even in my hometown, which like there are bigger problems in the world. I went this morning and I went to my hometown Starbucks, my hometown nail salon and honestly it's just like sad and it's just made me think like i feel like i just grew up so fast like that went by so fast granted i moved out a year early i moved out my senior year of high school and i look back at my high school experience one i actually genuinely did love my high school even at the time but something about the schooling system just wasn't for me it's not for anyone in my family like none of us do well with it i was a good student like i got good grades i was involved you know whatever but i just something about it like mental health wise growing up was just not good for me and it made me so miserable and it sounds crazy if you like knew me or you grew up with me but i always just felt like i didn't always like fully fit in which is also weird because like i had friends like i was never like outcast and it wasn't that anyone was doing that or making me feel that way and it wasn't that i thought anyone was like better than me or worse than me or like whatever i just I don't know I, and you know I mean I look back on it and I'm like I did start YouTube you know in high school and that became like the biggest part of my life and I made other friends elsewhere and you know whatever I did have like different interests and I had stuff going on at home that like I don't share so like there's a combination this is also dramatic because like pretty much everyone that I hang out with 
in Dallas now is from my hometown which is something that I just like love and I've never felt more connected with my friends than I do now at 24 even if I've known them since I was 10, 8, 12, however old we were. And maybe it's just because we're all like in our careers now and have grown up and like it's there's not as big of differences and in interests but I don't know all that being said it's just like I'm in my hometown and I'm looking around and I'm like this is where I went for like every school dance to get my nails done and like go to Morp and all that stuff and it's just really sad now we have people getting engaged and that's just like really weird none of my close friends or really like most of my close friends aren't for the people though that are getting engaged I would say like two percent of them are close friends of mine but it's just weird even when I'm in my hometown it's like no one's even here I don't know it's just like really sad and like I was so ready to grow up and I was so ready to leave for so long and I think that's my biggest regret like if I were to pick a regret in my life it would definitely be just like wanting to grow up so quickly even though I don't think that any of that would have changed and that was also like also that did kind of get me where I am which I'm really grateful for and I love my life but I don't know it's just like weird growing up I was talking to friends last night too and someone texted me and they're like I was just like getting emotional because it's like I think I'm in like a transition phase and I need to let go of like the past stuff in order to like move on in my life and I'm like I just don't want to grow up honestly like I think there's a reason why I really am not interested in any like older guys that are like mature because I just don't want to grow up like I really really don't and it's just odd like even my when I was like 22 I was like oh my god I want to get married and like whatever and like I just don't want that for myself right now like I want to get married my number one thing in life is like I want to have a healthy marriage and a healthy family but I can I can stall I turned 25 this year which is so crazy so I know a lot of you guys have like grown up with me watching videos and stuff and like it's just really 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 weird and I feel old and I don't know I miss being young and you know a lot of growing up here especially was so much fun and just so great and like I will say there is no friendships like my hometown friendships like not even mine specifically I mean like the city of McKinney just like it just creates incredible friendships and most people are friends forever and they don't even all live here or anything like that. It's just like what, for whatever reason, we have so many friends that have been friends like their entire life, which I think is such a cool thing. Cause I talk to my friends from like other places and it's like not really that common. Um, but I love, I love this town. I love the people here. I don't know, I just like miss, I guess like how it used to be. Even though I'm really happy. I don't know. Maybe I'm just like emotional because it's the holidays. But just have an ice cream tea. Oh, I have this new sweater from Favorite Daughter. In the little scarf combo. This is what I got for Christmas. The only thing I wanted. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to head back to my mom's other house. That is no longer in McKinney. I literally drove 30 minutes just to go to this nail salon. Which is so dramatic. But, you know, what's new? So we're going to leave. Um, tonight, Presley, Taryn, and I are going shopping and getting some dinner at Legacy West so which is also so crazy because that didn't exist when we were growing up it's like a yeah I think it actually opened when we were in college but like early college days which is also even crazy that I can say that like I just oh my god things are going by so fast cherish every single day that you have now I'm like oh my god I know I'm gonna feel that way about my 20s but I do not want to regret rushing any other phase of my life ever again so I will not be doing that I will be doing Quite literally the opposite. Say hello. Hey vlog squad. Oh my god, enough. It is Monday night, I am home. I drove home this morning and I've just been chilling. I was going to go to Pilates tonight and I just really didn't feel like it. This is the week in between Christmas and New Year's where time just like feels like it doesn't exist. My groceries are about to be delivered. I am unbelievably tired and like I don't know why. I heated up some banana bread. Jess dropped this off for me. Do you guys like my crew? If you, if you know, you know. Anyways, my groceries are about to be delivered but I wanted to show you guys these two new cookbooks that I got that I've been looking through today. Um, the first one is Dr. Amen's uh, The Brain Warrior's Way cookbook. I'm obsessed with Dr. Amen. He's like really into brain health. He's an author, doctor, obviously. I mean like he's really cool. He has a great YouTube channel too where he goes through and does like brain scans which is like literally my dream to do. I've also listened to him on like every podcast I think he's ever been on. I just like love him. He's actually coming on my show in 2022. Anyways, I realized there's a 
cookbook. So I picked this up um, a few weeks ago and I was just going through and like marking the recipes that I wanna make. Then I also got Kristen Cavallari's um, True Root Cookbook. I really wanna make these acorn, these acorn squash boats, like look so good. This week I'm not being hard on myself, hence why like I cancel Pilates. I am doing things that I like really wanna do in the new year. I wanna get back into like infrared stuff, which I don't know how I will fit that into my schedule, like going, adding another thing, like going to a sauna. Um, if you guys haven't Googled the benefits of infrared, my um, hot Pilates class in LA was infrared and we don't have that here. Anyways, I miss it. So I'm at least gonna try out a sauna in the morning. Going back to Pilates, obviously, because I love doing that. I'm going horseback riding this week, which I'm so excited for. I've been wanting to do that regularly for like two years now. And I'm trying to find a place that I like going to and make it more of a thing, at least like monthly. Maybe I'll watch Yellowstone. I already, I already read 100 books, which is my goal for this year. Um, I posted on Instagram my like top reads. If you guys need a book racks, just follow my Instagram. And my TikTok, I actually started a series where I'm like a book matchmaker. So people are telling me a little bit about themselves and their interests and I'm like matchmaking them with a book. So anyways, I'm gonna eat my banana bread and start Yellowstone. I was having a really peaceful call. I just got a call from my friend that there is a murderer on the list in our neighborhood. So got some smart sweets. So I'm actually cooking dinner for a friend tomorrow night. We're gonna make some vision boards. I'm not a vision board hater. I actually really like them, but I make goals and do like vision boards and stuff like throughout the year. If you like vision boards, like vision boards. Don't let these new year haters get to you. Like I always have to ignore. Wait, no, uh, that's too much green juice. I'm only here for a few days and they gave me two of these. And I got an ocean spray juice because I was really craving it. When I had COVID, I was really getting used to just drinking so much Powerade. So now I'm craving like sugary drinks, which I normally don't. Wait, I don't even know what to do with this juice. I don't have room in my fridge. <sighs> All right, so here's a little grocery haul. I meant to only get one of these. Well, actually I only meant to get two juices and I somehow have four and I'm only here for three or four days. Chicken stock, kale, Italian sausage. I'm making my normal like go-to Italian sausage kale tortellini soup just because it's a crowd favorite and it's like something I love to make so I always make it because I know that people are gonna like it. Pasta, crushed tomatoes, like celery, onion, avocados, whipping cream, tomato paste, smart sweets, carrots, I mean like normal stuff. I'm gonna make that soup and then I'm also tonight I think going to make the like spicy fusilli John and Benny's pasta. I'm just randomly craving that and I'm feeling like an at home cooking night. <laughs> It was also the first time I got painted. Guys, so sad. Good morning, everyone. It is, I think, Wednesday morning. I'm in sweats. It's like 7.45. I naturally woke up at 6.30 this morning. I woke up to a text from my sister saying that she's canceling my hair appointment today. And it's already been pushed back a week and I need my hair done so bad. Also, I'm in Mockingbird plaza is that what we call it please sneaker haven i've never seen that i have my water i have my sweats on i'm about to go to glow sauna i really like i said want to try out some like infrared sauna stuff so i will let you guys know how i like it i don't know realistically how often i would even get myself to go but i want to say something okay how to become a morning person i've been so off my early morning game i haven't really been consistently waking up early pretty much all year well like i would go like seven but like i used to wake up really early and I literally used to wake up at 5 in LA, I would go to training at 6, Pilates at 7, shower, get ready at the studio, and then go get breakfast and go to class. Go to the studio or like work out, wherever I was. Not gonna do 5 a.m.s, but I I do want to get back to at least waking up at like 6.30. Here's how I'm doing it and here's how I've done it in the past. I always schedule things in the morning. If you schedule and book something that you are held accountable to going to, like either early morning coffee with a friend, which I never do here, but I used to do in college. We would go at like 7 a.m. to get coffee. Also, we were all so busy. It was like the only time we could see each other. Scheduling work at class, making plans with a friend. Like typically something that requires accountability from some other person because I can wake up and be like, I'm going to go at 5 and go on a walk. But like because there's no accountability to other people, I'm less likely to like follow through and that's at the beginning like as I'm getting into the routine I like to schedule things and then eventually you're just like so addicted to waking up early and having your early mornings it just feels so good like that is like the only time I really have for myself and to really set up my days and life just gets crazier and I'm really excited so I think I'm gonna make it a goal to wake up between like 6 to 6 30 waking up at 6 30 this morning felt so good I was just awake this thing I don't know how to describe it makes me feel like I have like my life together all right, everyone, off we go. By the way, guys, that's where I get my nails done. I get a lot of questions. I've only been wrong one time in like two years. That's really saying something. Love it there. 
Off to Glow Sauna Studios we go. So I'm in a room with a pod, but they do have like the sauna like that you can sit up in, like the higher dose looking ones that you can do with friends or just yourself, but we're about to go, 30 minutes. All right, I'm out. I will say I feel very calm. I like the place, I'm not like absolutely obsessed. Again, I think I'd have to go like more than once. I loved how I just had it in hot Pilates though because it would just combine my workouts and the sauna. But if I'm like really stressed or sore or something, I would love that. I don't know, I'm open, I definitely liked it. Like now I feel incredibly calm, which I didn't even realize until I stood up. And I wanna try um, the like actual sauna that you sit in rather than the pod. I picked the pod yesterday when I booked it, but um, I wanna also try the like sitting thing. So, if you guys do any infrared saunas or any saunas at all, let me know what you do. A miracle just happened. The light. What light should I replace this with? I take a shot. Actually, don't, please. Every time I say I'm gonna replace that with that, it's, there's nothing I hate more, no offense. Anyways, a miracle happened and I got a color appointment today at noon. I asked all of you guys actually in our Geneva group. I called every salon, I got a rec for it. And then no one kicked me in. And then the salon called back and they were like, hey, we we're actually able to move an appointment if you want to come in. And I was like, oh. my sister is so good at hair. So it like sucks when I go elsewhere. But um, that's also the con of having your sister do your hair is that like you're just the last priority. What is y'all's relationship like with your siblings? I'm actually really curious. I would say Maddie and I are really close, but we definitely fight a lot. Like we go months without talking. Um, and then we'll be besties, you know? Maddie's like really fun. Like she's very, she's really freaking funny. Like she doesn't really mean to be funny, but she's really funny. It's not necessarily like intentional, which I think like makes it better. Like it's one of those things that has to be in the moment. Anyways, also I need to know, what is your like your healthy Starbucks order in the morning? I just don't like getting a sugary drink every day. I do that during the holidays and I'm so over it. So let me know. Okay. Oh, I just showered. I put on a cute little chocolate brown set. I really need a tripod because the way you guys are set up is not the best, but I have my coffee. I don't really like it that much. Just a cold brew with a splash of oat milk. Actually, while we're here, I want to talk about this. So this is Chloe. She has like the, she is so talented. I follow her on Instagram. That's where my phone case is from, but any questions about that? I tag it on everything though, guys. So if you want to know where something's from, I promise it's tagged on my Instagram. Anyways, um, she's an artist and she came out with a coloring book and I forgot how helpful like adult coloring books are. I've started, okay? Um, it makes me want to do like a breadwinning housewife coloring book or something because at night when I get really, really anxious and I need to be off my phone, I kind of just want to watch something instead of like read, which I'm kind of trying to watch with more shows. Doing that is so helpful. Like it is the most common thing you can do. If you have anxiety, get a coloring book. I'm not kidding. And get that one because it's like the cutest one. I'll show you. Really cute. So, all right. Sephora haul. I picked up some stuff. This is a really, really random thing. I go into Sephora every few months. I grab a bunch of stuff. I check out, I leave. Every time I leave, my total, which I'm not getting the same products either, my total is between 298 and 301. It's a very odd thing about me, but anyways, got the Sephora 64 brush. I have a bunch of these. I just always pick them up because I somehow lose makeup brushes a lot, but I love that one. And this is the 50. It's the Pro Blush, Pro Blush Clout. Pro Brush Powder. Um... I just needed a good powder brush. I'm not the biggest powder person I need to be because my skin has been so oily recently. So, trying to get better about it. Who are your favorite like bloggers to watch? Or vloggers, not bloggers. Oh my god, like I just don't got that. Okay. Oh, I got the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Primer. I've never used this before, but I did need a primer, so I picked it up. I got a mini translucent setting powder because the other one is to make my makeup bag. It's easier from traveling. Um, I got the Hourglass Unreal. Okay, so this lip gloss, when I was super blonde this summer, which I'm about to be again, and had that like bright pink lip gloss all the time, this is it. It's in the color Fever. It is like the prettiest lip gloss. And it's like, as you can see, like bright pink, but it's really pretty. So I like it a lot. This is my like problem every time I go. I just get so many lip products and I have so many lip products. This is like really holidays-y. Bite Beauty Lip Gloss. We'll see if I like that. Oh, I got Kosas Air Brow um, Brow Gel in clear. I don't really like getting colored brow gel. It's just like too much. I don't even do enough to my brows, but this I like. 
Then I got the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. Wait a second. I'm confused because this is fair pale. I thought this was for face and body. Okay, this needs to be returned because I thought this was a face powder. It's not. So confusing. Anyways, I'm gonna finish getting ready and then I'm gonna head out to my nail appointment. I'm so happy I have a nail appointment today. It seriously saved my life. All right, I'm getting my hair done. I am so excited. I feel like I'm about to be a new person. So, like, it's just, it's needed to get done. I'm at least a month overdue. So, it's very exciting. Um, by the way, I'm still drinking this coffee that I don't like. So, and I'm using my breadwinning housewife toe. I use this every day. Like, this is where I keep everything in. I literally use it every single day. I will link it below. And the hat, so many of you guys got it for Christmas, and it's just, like, so cute. Alright, guys. I'm so blonde, but I just feel alive again. I was there for so long. I'm, like, the blondest I think I've ever been, actually. You know when your hair just, like, feels disgusting, and the only thing that will fix it is if you go get it done? That's where I was at. Anyways. I'm going to get a drink with a friend and then my friend Lauren is coming over tonight to I'm gonna cook and we're gonna make vision boards. Whoa, it is it is so hot. I just cannot get over this December in Texas. I think it's like the hottest December we've ever had. Anyways, I'm gonna go meet my friend Doug for a drink at HG Supply on the roof. It's a little bit warm to be doing that, but it's fine. Anyways, here's my hair again. Very blonde. Okay. All right, I'm back from HG, got some drinks. Okay, Lauren's coming over and we're going to, well, I'm cooking dinner and then we're gonna do vision boards. Guys, this came in the mail. I made this order a few days ago from We're Not Really Strangers. Got the New Year's edition of cards and then this is a self-reflection kit. So, oh my gosh, Ooh, I can go through and I have a self-reflection journal and questions and a pen, which is cute. So I'll do this alone and then I'll do the cards with her. But I think it's gonna be fun. I just love having people over and cooking and just like chilling at my house. My favorite thing to do. I think I'm gonna pull out the Reese's drinks. I have so many. They just like put me in a good mood and they're a really good dupe. Obviously not that I don't drink. I drink tonight. I really don't drink on weekdays. But um, anyway, so when I'm cooking from home, I like to do a nice little recess drink. We've got some Texas country playing. The candles are burning. It is a very good vibe in here. Back at Starbucks again. Happy Wednesday. I have my coffee. I'm going to get my brows done. Then I need to go inside a bunch of paperwork, which is not fun. But then, oh my god, it's raining and we're going horseback riding today. Wait, well, we're. We're supposed to be riding horses today. So hopefully that's fine. It is like 35 minutes away. So. I don't know. Guys, you guys are not even gonna recognize me. I'm dressed currently like a um, 2012 horse girl. Got my first pair of skinny jeans in about eight years. These are good American. They're actually like the most comfortable jeans ever. But I needed jeans to wear with boots, not just cowboy boots, but like all of my boots. We know, cowboy boots are my favorite thing. In 2022, my biggest thing that I wanna do is, uh, well not my biggest, but one of the things, the main things that I really wanna do is collaborate with a brand and design my own cowboy boot like that would literally be like my dream anyways um i'm dressing like a horse girl today i feel a little bit out of my element i feel you know i feel like miranda lambert which is really good feeling let me tell you um okay my closet like this stuff is ridiculous this is the puffer i'm gonna wear i just keep throwing stuff around when i need to pack but i did want to show you guys what i picked up recently slash like what i got for christmas so this bag is actually the bag that i should wear today I got this bag. It's the Coach Pillow Tabby bag. Um, and this was what I got for Christmas. And I love it. I've been getting a lot of purses lately. I feel like I don't buy a purse for a year. And then all of a sudden I have a bunch of other ones. But I just think this is so cute. And like such a just beautiful bag. Like I actually love Coach. And I love this bag. It was on back order. Um, anyways, today will be my first time to use it. So I love that. Then I also... You guys already saw this in a recent vlog, but I do want to show it to you. I got the Balenciaga. I don't remember the actual style of this. This is a pink bag. I'm going to make a TikTok with these bags in a second, but it is just 
so beautiful. I got it on sale, literally half off. I will link them below if they're still available. Um, but they actually fit a lot of stuff. Like my vlog camera fits in here, my wallet, my phone, lip gloss, like pretty much everything that I could ever need is in this bag. So I absolutely love it. So we have that. Um, and then another thing I picked up, this is basically just like a luxury haul, which I never have, but we do today. I got the Prada loafers, the chocolate brush ones. These are like the thicker sole. I've worn them like every day since getting them. They're just such a good everyday black shoe. I actually don't have designer shoes, but I love them. I wear them all the time. They're super cute, true to size. Um, I've, I don't know, I've been thinking about getting them for like the longest time. So that's great. Also guys, don't forget to get your breadwinning housewife hat. Come on. All right, I changed. This outfit is more me. It's still skinny jeans, Lucchese boots, which by the way are the most comfortable boots and these are so cute i got them for my birthday and i love like in the summer just wearing them with um dresses and stuff because they're super cute the detailing they're really fun as you can tell anyways um this white t-shirt that's from brandy melville unfortunately and then this puffer i have two that are identical one's from misguided one's from h m last season so I accidentally bought two beige puffers. And this is my look to go horseback riding. I'm really excited. This is like a new thing that I wanna do, so. I'm also using my new bag, which is really cute. Like, I love this look. Um, I maybe should get the other strap. Maybe we'll go try the other strap, but I do like this bag. I just think it's so pretty. Okay, so this is, why am I craving chilies right now? Maybe Lauren don't wanna go to chilies. This is the long strap. It feels really long, actually. I'm at least gonna like bring it in my car. It's a little bit more convenient this way. Has a nice little latch. This bag is definitely like thick. I honestly could have done the smaller size of this bag, but I just wanted it to be able to fit my vlog camera. I think this is a bag that I'll get a lot of wear out of too in the long run. horseback riding it was so good i had the best time it felt like when i left i got a massage like that's how calm i was it's, okay i need to show you guys this you're sitting on it i got the hot shave razor from the skinny confidential this is like a face razor essentially uh the branding is like perfect for her so there we go oh i don't know if you guys listen to the skinny confidential love them i also picked up two black dresses as backup um for new year's eve i got this one from revolve super cute and then I also got this one, so I literally have four options of dresses to wear. So I'm just going to throw everything in a bag and go. But I need to start, um, like, getting ready and stuff. It was a really good day, honestly. Then I went to HG, and Lauren and I got drinks. And then I met one of you guys, actually, which was really fun. But I need to get my life together. Hello, guys. It's me again um, in the same spot. I am back from horseback riding and I went to HG and I just wanted to like sit down and talk about things that I'm excited for in the new year and also um, like what I want my life to feel like. I've been thinking about this lately and I think so much of like what I want to say on the internet I think just like sounds so cheesy so I just like don't say anything but who cares this is my channel I can say what I want. There's a lot of things that I want to do and be better about in the new year. The first being like going back to my early mornings because I'm just a happier person. The second, I'm not kidding, more vertical videos in general. I feel like I'm always filming horizontally for vlogs and I need to just start filming vertically in general because I need to be a TikTok star, so I need to get that all together, okay? I also like miss when I would go to like the same coffee shops and same places, like workout places and things, which I'm kind of starting to do again here and know everyone's name. So I just wanna make it a point to like make a habit of going to certain places and making sure I know every single person's name. I just think there's a lot of power in knowing and remembering someone's name. I think it makes people feel good. I love the like neighborhood feel that you get from that. I have like so many random things too. Um, I've said this already, but I really want to do a cowboy boot collaboration. That is like my number one goal. I want to design a boot with a brand. Obviously my clothing brand is launching this year, which is crazy. I just really want to focus on like traveling with friends. And then it got me thinking like so many of my goals 
are so much more about like who I want to be and not like what I want to do necessarily and I don't really share the ones of like who I want to be because it sounds like cheesy and like kind of annoying and then I was thinking like what do I want my life to feel like and people always talk about like what does your life actually feel like not just like look like and my life feels probably like 10,000 times better than what it looks like which I'm grateful that that's what it is but I just like love country music so much and I want my life to feel like a country music song or country concert like there is nothing that makes me happier than being at a country concert or driving and listening to country music I not kidding that's like all I listen to at this point so yeah my question of the day what do you guys want your life to feel like oh my god I do not feel like doing everything I need to do tonight at all like I would rather just like get in bed and read oh I actually started reading a new book it's actually called good morning monster I'm pretty sure Jackie he actually told me to read it and then i'm pretty sure lauren bostic told her to read it but it is so good i've only gotten through the first one it's the author's a therapist and it goes through five like patients of hers and i got through the first one last night and it was crazy and also i learned a lot and even certain things i highlighted and i was like that's my problem you know i've been talking a lot with friends recently about just like the concept of growing up and i know that i'm already 24 and i turn 25 next year which is so crazy like wild and i'm actually really excited for that and i'm not like super afraid of growing up and also aside from like getting married and having kids like i'm already a homeowner i own my car i own like I, there's not really that many other things i can do that would like qualify me as like an adult but i still feel like i'm 17 and the fact that like we were talking about this the other day the fact that like i can just get in the car and drive anywhere or like get online and book a flight and go anywhere which is something i do all the time it is so crazy that I'm allowed to do that and I'm 24. I've had my license for what eight years now And I just am like, I don't know when I got this old like it's actually really scary But there are definitely things that I do that are not necessarily healthy in my life that I think Root from me not wanting to grow up, but I honestly do feel really good about 2022 I cannot believe I've been doing YouTube since I was 16 like I'm 24. That is wild I'm turning 25 this year how old are you guys? Who? I feel like my demo is my age, right? I don't know. I'm gonna get my life together though. I'm gonna self tan tonight and just like do the whole thing. But let me tell you, I will be riding horses this year. Like it just makes me so happy. Good morning, guys. I'm off to Pilates. I'm wearing a year of ours set that I have. It's Puffer's Princess Polly. It's not like. I kind of wish I would have bought a really nice brown puffer, but I didn't do that. Have my Uggs, of course. I'm about to wake up Amanda. We're off. Got my two drinks, my water, my coffee, and my cute bag that I'm just obsessed with. Yeah. It's truly like... All right, guys. I'm back for the day. I'm ready for the next two days, and I'm off for New Year's Eve. I am finally feeling excited and inspired about this channel for the first time in, honestly, a bit. So... I'm excited. Let me know what you guys want to see on the channel in the new year. Things you like, things you don't like. Be nice. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'm about to head off. So I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. You have two choices. You can either be a man or you can be a bitch. He was like, you could be a man and look yourself in the mirror and say, although that your circumstances were tough and although you're in here now, it's up to you to change. If anybody's going to change, it's going to be you and no one's coming to save you. And that's like an important message for people.